Imagine you're building a really big Lego castle. To build your castle, you've got lots of different types of Lego bricks. You have many different colors, shapes, and sizes. But let's say you want to add a drawbridge to your castle. Instead of trying to make a drawbridge out of your own bricks, you find out that your friend Billy, who is also a Lego enthusiast, has already built a really cool drawbridge. Billy is happy to let you use his drawbridge design, so you get Billy's instructions and you use your own Lego bricks to build that drawbridge. Now imagine if there were thousands of kids like Billy who have all made cool Lego creations and they've shared instructions on how to build them online. If you could just look up the instructions and use your bricks to make these creations, that would be pretty awesome, right? Well, that's essentially what NPM, which stands for Node Package Manager, does, but for JavaScript, a programming language used to build websites and applications. NPM is a huge online repository, kind of like a giant library, where people have shared packages or building instructions. These packages are bits of code that do specific things, like create a login form, animate website elements, connect to a database, and much more. When you're making your own program, instead of having to write every single bit of code yourself, you can use NPM to download these packages that other people have made and shared. This helps you save time, and you can build much cooler and more complex things without having to figure out how to do everything yourself. Of course, just like with Legos, you need to learn how to properly use these packages in your program. But once you do, it becomes a really powerful tool that makes programming much easier and more fun.